My name's Chantal Martin. You know, I well, I grew up in in central London, and uh, you know, there's street art everywhere. And eventually, I went to art school and started hanging out with uh, a few kids that you know went out at 4 a.m. and drew on trains and walls and, and wherever. And I kind of got caught up in that. And and London felt like my city, so I felt like I had a right to go out and you know put my piece of art on the walls too. A lot of it was illegal, and. Um, but you know that that was the fun of it, and we got chased a few times, and you know, it's, it's the adrenaline, and you know, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it, and then I, I moved to Japan when I finished art school, and I didn't have that sense of ownership anymore. I didn't feel like I had the right to start tagging on the walls of of Tokyo or Nagoya or wherever I was living. What I started to do is instead of sitting back and waiting for someone to come along and give me some money or s instead of sitting back and waiting for someone to come back and give me a space I s you go outside and see what there is you see what you can use you see uh, what resources you do have you know that are free and that are available and then you use them and then what happens is when you do that and you do something that is good that people can see that they can enjoy either it's a, a light performance show at your friend's house then you invite 10 people or you're drawing on a wall a legal wall around the corner you know you do these smaller things that people see it inspires them they enjoy it they tell someone else they tell someone else they tell someone else i i think you know because i've, I've drawn on cars outside i've drawn on walls i've drawn on people and all you can do is know yourself and if you know yourself and you you work you know I'm working on the car I'm working on the people I work with my through myself and I'm using the environment I'm using the audience I'm using things that I overhear to in, inspire the piece that I'm drawing at that time and in a way that helps me to produce a piece of work which is for that audience mm -hmm. and all I'm doing is like you know just being aware of what's around me and what's going on and the way that I have the kind of that the power or the strength to do me is because that's what my life is about. My life is who am I? What am I? And that's that's the mission that I'm on for this lifetime. And 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 for some reason I'm here to tell that story through drawing and through lines and through sharing and through inspiring. You know, when when you grow up in a very rough council estate and you're mixed race with with an afro. You know, you, you, have to, you have to hold your own ground and you have to be very confident in yourself. And then when you take yourself to one of the most famous art schools in the world, then when you graduate the top of your year, then when you take yourself to Japan and you learn a different language, you've already traveled so far to get to that point that no one can touch you. You know, I can walk into a room, famous people, very wealthy people, millionaires, entrepreneurs, people from the street, I know who I am, I'm, I'm confident in that, so I, I, you know, I don't have to try and be anyone else but myself. Mm -hmm.